What is up, guys? It's the Chuck Twin here, back to another NHL 17 pack opening video. I know we've been having a lot of pack openings, but uh, starting next week, I will start having the Road to D1 series, Draft Champion series, and all that stuff coming out. So there's just been a lot going on in HUD right now, so I wanted to take advantage of it and have some pack openings. This will be the last pack opening for a while. I really hope so. Um, there won't be too many pack openings from this point on until some better things start coming out, like if Movembers come out or maybe some other special cards, but I really don't want to spend any more money on this game. So, like, as of right now, so we do have some new packs in the store with a guaranteed World Cup of Hockey collectibles, so that will be pretty good because we will be able to sell that. I probably will sell it unless we get multiple ones. Then I'll probably try to change it out to do a set, but I'm pretty sure we're only going to get one. So, uh, we're going to take a look at the other stuff that's out right now, too. So, we have a 91 overall Lundquist, World Cup of Hockey player of the game, and a 90 overall Matt Duchesne. Pretty nice cards there. So, hopefully we get one of those if we don't get any of the other cards that are out. And the other cards being... The Team of the Week, so there is finally a Team of the Week for the first time in NHL 17. So we have here, uh, the first line is a Canadian line, which is 88 Marshawn, 91 Tavares, and 89 Bergeron. Pretty nice line there. And as for the second line, we have 86 Franz Nielsen, 88 Eichel, and 86 Gabrick. So pretty nice lines right there. These are just some of the bronze and silver guys. As for the defense now, we have Alex Pietrangelo at 89 and Eric Carlson at 92. So again, pretty nice cards there. And we have a Shane Goss to spare. 87 overall cards, a pretty nice card there. And as for the goalie, we do have 93 overall carry price, so some pretty sick players. Hopefully we can get one of those. I'll show you guys what packs we have here right now. So, as you guys see here, we do have that one World Cup of Hockey super, super pack that I did tell you guys about. So we're getting 20 items, 5 rare players, and 1 World Cup of Hockey collectible. And then we have a gold plus pack, uh, well 2 gold plus packs I mean, which is 20 gold items with at least 6 players, and a mix of non-player items. So. That's just the usual packs we've been opening. So we're going to start with those first. Uh, get those out of the way. And then we'll be opening those World Cup of Hockey. Well, that World Cup of Hockey pack. See what we can get in that one. So let's see here what we do get. Hopefully we can get something good. 85 Drew Stafford to start things off. A couple 82s there. 85 Bo Horvat. Uh, 79. Definitely nothing in this pack. Team Europe logo. That should sell for something decent. But uh, who knows. Let's see what the next pack is. So here we go with the next one. Hopefully we get something good. Really want one of those players, but we'll see what we get here. So, Duck Serena. Uh, oh! We already have our first team of the week. 88 overall, Brad Martian. Not sure what he's going for, but we'll definitely check that out at the end of the video. So, uh, let's just keep on going here. 86 Keith Yandel, which is a duplicate, so we will be able to sell that one. And not sure what else we have here, so... Alright, so that's going to be it. So, it's just still a pretty good pack. We did get an 86 overall, which should go for like a K or two. And then we did get 88 overall, Brad Marchand from the Team of the Week, which is the first Team of the Week of the year for us. So, pretty cool that we were able to get it on the first day that they do come out and in our first pack opening. So, we're just going to send all this stuff to the collection. And we'll go check out his price at the end of this. But now, it's time for the World Cup of Hockey Super Pack. This is probably the biggest pack that will be coming out for this. Because I think it's definitely going to ruin the market even more than it already has. So let's see what we get here. See what the collectible is. Uh, Sweden logo. Pavlik 85. Um, 85 Gardner. What else do we have here? I really don't see anything. 85 Henrique. 79 King. So we do get this uh, logo here. I mean, not the logo, the collectible. So uh, that's pretty cool there. So we did get that collectible already. 85 Cogliano and 85 Zajac and then a couple uh, decent players there 84 and 81 but this is our collectible so we are going to go check out what that one goes for too so let's just send this stuff to the collection and hopefully that one does go for something good I know they're all around 50k so we'll go check out those in the collection and see what they're going for so we're going to start off with the team of the week so let me go back right here and go check out what he's going for I'm not sure where it would be uh no clue where it's going to be at. Let me see. Maybe I could just go with the collectible first. Let's see if it's going to be here. So it is a Sweden collectible. And not sure where I'm going to find that either. But I'm guessing it's probably going to be back on this screen right here. Uh, oh, collectibles. That's probably where it's going to be. All right, so this is the collectible we have. So we're going to search the auction house for it. See what we find. What the cheapest one is right now. Because I am going to try to sell that right away. So it looks like 59. Okay, 54k is the cheapest so far. 53 um 50k don't see too much else here looks like 50k is going to be the cheapest and that is with some uh coins so 
let's see it was oh 49.999 is gonna be the cheapest one so we'll try to put it for something around there probably like 49k or something so that's pretty good right there pretty good uh coins we will be making from the pack and as for the team of the week not sure where we're gonna find that probably just gonna go to nhl and try finding uh oh well you know what he's probably gonna be in his set so it was martian so that is gonna be boston so we'll see if he shows up here all right i didn't think he would so the only other place could be the world cup of hockey set i guess probably in that collection which he is playing for canada so uh wrong one so we're gonna go to the world cup of hockey here all right here we go and then we'll go to no we already checked this though all right, well, he's not here, so I'm going to go find him. Uh, I'm sure I'll find him eventually, so I'll just come back to you guys when I do have the set he's in. All right, guys, so I gave up trying to look for him, and I just decided to just come into the auction house, just try to find him here. So we're going to try to figure out what the cheapest one is. So, so far, we see 64K, 55K, uh, 54,950, and that looks like it's going to be it. So I'll probably try to list him up right now. And, oh, you know what? That's a mix of players, though, so... Yeah, 54 and 950 is still the cheapest for Martian. So the other one is Bergeron, but uh, there's not so many up for him. So it doesn't really get mixed in too much. But 54 and 950 is going to be the cheapest for Brad Martian. And then uh, the other card too. So we should be making a good 100k, hopefully, from the stuff that we did get. So that's not too bad. They're pretty good pack opening. We will have a lot of coins to spend on other things. Maybe buy a hero. Maybe just buy other cards for the team. But I don't know what else we're going to do. So I guess we'll find out what we do. And I'll let you guys know, of course, what we do, what we do to change the team, what we do as uh, as for sets and stuff like that. So make sure to stay tuned so you guys do know what we do with the coins that we do have as for changes on the team and stuff. So it's pretty much going to be here for this for you guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it and also what you guys would like to see more of. Uh, I have been thinking about that series with the subscribers. And if you guys would like that, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Still haven't gotten any comments about that. So... Make sure to let me know if you guys would be interested in that or if you guys have a channel yourselves and would like to wager for your channel too and we could both upload the game and kind of help each other out with subs and stuff. And uh, other than that, the Road to D1 series is coming out. <clears throat> the Road to D1 series is coming out soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that also. That will be coming out next week, so make sure to look out for that. And other than that, pretty much going to be here for this, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.